In Dili, East Timor, a solemn journey has begun. These families are traveling to find the bodies of loved ones who disappeared almost 20 years ago. On November 12, 1991, thousands of young protesters seeking independence were fired on by the Indonesian army at Dili's Santa Cruz Cemetery. There must have been at least a thousand bullets fired point-blank range into this massive, maybe a couple of thousand people. Covertly filmed, the Santa Cruz massacre became one of the most notorious in recent history. As many as 200 people disappeared, presumed dead. But where the victims are and exactly how they died remains a mystery. Now, one of the world's elite forensic teams is searching for the bodies. The types of evidence I guess we're looking for is identification, that idea in the humanitarian sense to give these deceased individuals their dignity back and to potentially identify them and therefore return them to the families. Many believe the Indonesian military secretly buried the bodies to conceal the truth. If the forensic team can find them, crucial questions might finally be answered. Exactly how many died? Was the massacre a tragic overreaction by junior soldiers or were senior officers involved? And were there cold-blooded executions of survivors following the massacre? While some demand justice, others simply want the bodies of their loved ones returned. Those who survived their loved ones, at least they would like to know where they were killed, how they were killed, and to rebury them with dignity so that their soul can be at peace according to Timorese beliefs. <laughs>